Hello, this is a screencast to talk about how you can find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple when given um, certain monomials. So the one screen I have set up, I have 45 times x squared and y to the fifth, and then this monomial 300 x to the fourth times y to the third. I'm going to use this chart method to help us organize for greatest common factor and least common multiple. So the first thing when I find the greatest common factor is I just look at the number part first and think about the numbers that can divide evenly into 45 and 300. And the first number that comes to my mind is 5. So I write the 5 over here and then I'm going to take this monomial and divide the number term by 5 and I would get 9x squared and then times y to the fifth. And if I divide this by 5, I'll get 60. The next thing I'm going to look at is still the number term. And I notice that this one's 9 and this one's 60. So those are both divisible by 3. So I could take out a 3. And when I do that, I get both of these. Now looking at the number term, the 3 and the 20 I know have no common factors. So I'm going to stop and then move on to my variable terms. I'm just going to start with my x term. So only looking at this x term and this x term, I think of the greatest x that I can pull out. And I can pull out x squared from here and here. So I'm going to write that on this side over here. When I do that, I'm going to think about if I pull out an x squared, what am I left with here? Well, over here I'm left with 3. x squares disappear. Then y to the fifth. And over here, I still have the x squared. Looking at both my monomials now, they're getting smaller, so it's kind of easy to see that I can't take any higher x term out. So I'm going to move to the y's. Looking at the y's, I can take out y to the third. And when I do that, I get these numbers. Now these right here have no common factors. So on this side, I know that I found the greatest common factor. But all I have to do is multiply all these together to get what that greatest common factor is. And the greatest common factor would be 5 times 3 times x squared times y to the third, which is 15x squared times y to the third. Now that we got the greatest common factor here, we can use this chart to get the least common multiple as well. If we think back what a least common multiple is, um, one way to think about finding a least common multiple with just numbers is write out the prime factorization of each. So here it's 10 times equals 2 times 5, and here it's 15 will equal 3 times 5. What a least common multiple really is, is the common factors multiplied only once, and then all the leftover factors you would have. So if you see here we got a 5 here, we're only going to use that 5 once because that's the common factor. And then we'll use the other factors that are left over, like 3 and 2. And if we take 2 times 3 times 5, that gives us 30. You probably made a list when you were a little kid of counting by 10s and counting by 15s. But this method will help us understand it when we're dealing with variables. So all it is is the greatest common factor, which is 5, used once, and then all the leftovers. So if we go back to our chart, we'll see, I'm going to use a pen here, that this was our greatest common factor right here. And here was our leftover factors we didn't use. And you see I made an L for least common multiple. If we would multiply all these numbers together, we would get the least common multiple. So we have to multiply the 5 times the 3 times the 3 times the 20. And then we have to multiply the x squared times the x squared and the y to the third times y squared. And when you do that, you get 900 x to the fourth, y to the fifth.